Activity 3. What kind of world do we live in? In the last activity, we learned how to use data to change how our robot functions. In this activity, we are going to make it easier to see what the robot is doing by displaying the value on the EV3 screen. To do this, we don't have to start from scratch. We are just going to modify our existing program. Open 4-H Book 2 Projects and open the Data Driven Decisions file. Click and drag over everything in the program except the start block. Go to Edit and Copy. Then click on the plus sign to add a new program. Double click on the word Program in the tab. Change the name to What Kind of World. After you paste into this program, connect the blocks to the provided start block. In the action palette, drag up the display block and put it immediately following the switch. The X Y value should be 2 and the color should be set to false which shows up as black. The text size should be set to 2 so the value is easy to see. On the display block, change the value from Mindstorms to Wired. Now you need to link the output of the ultrasonic sensor to the input of the display block. We want to have a moment to see the number before the robot starts moving, so after the display block, put in a wait block from the flow control palette. Set the time to create a one second wait. Copy this wait block and paste it and place it after the move steering block. This wait will keep our sensor reading on the screen for one second after the robot is stopped. As you can see, you can use wires to feed data to multiple locations. Be sure to save your work. Connect your robot to your computer and download the program. Unplug your robot and run the program. Now look in your book for some ways to revise this program and then move on to the next section.